Good day, grade 8A and 8B students. This is your subject, Social Studies, with Ms. MJ. Let's proceed to our online learning discussion now. I just want to remind you that this video will serve as our discussion for today because I cannot be able to attend our virtual class. So, class, before we proceed to our online learning discussion, I would like us to have a short recap or review of the last topics that we have discussed last week. So the first one is Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia class is part of the Arabian Peninsula. It is also one-fourth the size of the United States. Deserts cover much of the east and south. There are mountain ranges in the southwest and there are no rivers or lakes, but there is Red Sea that borders the west and the Pacific Gulf borders the east. So it is also known as the largest oil reserve in the world. The second one is Japan. The capital of Japan is Tokyo and its currency is yen. The population of Japan was 127.3 million and Japan's main religions are Shinto, Buddhism, and Christianity. And the last topic that we have discussed is about Korea. So, the capital city of Korea is Seoul, and its official language is Korean. Population is 51.3 million, and the religion are Christianity, Buddhism. The currency is South Korean won. So, these were the three topics that we have discussed last week. Okay, class, for the objective of our lesson today. So today, you are going to learn about India and Thailand. So I expect that at the end of this online discussion, you already know some important information about India and Thailand. So class, our topics for today are about India and Thailand. But first, we have to read the vocabulary words or words to learn that we will be encountering all throughout our discussion. Please repeat after me so you can practice your reading skills and speaking skills even if you're just at home. Are you ready now? Let's start reading. Number one, unique. Number two, gesture. Number three, popular. Number four, essence. And number five, entertainment. So class, let us read the meaning of these five words because these words are going to help us better understand our topics for today. So unique means singular or unparalleled, uncommon, rare, particular, exceptional, extraordinary, unusual, alone, and so. The next word that we have is gesture. It means signal or motion, a sign, gesticulate, wave, indication, gesticulation, indicate, nod, and beckon. The third word that we have is popular, which means famous, like uh, the superstars, public, well-known, general, common, accepted, prevalent, widespread, prevailing, and current. The next word that we have is essence, which means core, heart, pit, substance, Spirit, gist, marrow, kernel, and nature. And the last word that we have is entertainment. Entertainment means amusement, diversion, recreation, pleasure, fun, distraction, sport, pastime, play, and enjoyment. So these are the five words that can help us better understand our topic for today. So let's read them again from numbers 1 to 5. Unique, gesture, Popular, Essence, and Entertainment. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Suggestions keep pouring in as to where we should travel next. And it looks like our metaphorical compass is pointing towards India. From Bengal tigers and sloth bears to the Taj Mahal and exploring Mars, join us as we trek through 10 amazing facts about India. Number 10. Indian Cuisine There's a great divide in India, a separation between the North and South that we're employing all to take a side on. The Cuisine 
In the north, you have a higher use of dairy products like milk, paneer, ghee, and yogurt. South India locals enjoy a cuisine of rice for dosas, vadas, and udapams, coupled with fresh coconut water. Back in North India, roti and paratha flatbreads are cooked on tawa, while puri and batura get the deep-fried treatment. Taking a whirlwind tour of India's northern and southern regions, you'll chow down on samosa, murchibada, chaat, kuchuri, idli, upma, onion udapam, and fish coconut curry. Number 9. India Inventions it wouldn't be a journey through a country's culture if we didn't stop to take a look at some of the great advancements we would be lacking without it. Zero as a number has been around as far back as ancient Egypt, but the notion of it as a digit in decimal place value allegedly came about in India during the 5th century. Having a hard time in your high school math class? You can also thank India for the modern development of sine, cosine, and advancements in trigonometry, negative numbers, and algebra. Historians believe that India is also responsible for the development of chess, snakes and ladders, the Sanskrit language, fiber optics, advancements in reconstructive surgery, and Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose, who is best known for paving the way for radio communication. Number 8. Famous Indians He was the peace-seeking leader of the movement for independence in British-ruled India, and likely one of the most famous Indians throughout history. But there are a lot of notable citizens of India, so we don't want to get too caught up in Mahatma Gandhi's history just yet. When exploring famous people of India, you'll be setting your sights on spiritual leader Sri Shimoy, actresses Priyanka Chopra and Kareena Kapoor, actors Amitabh Bachchan and Salman Khan, philosopher and statesman Dr. Savarpali Radhakrishnan, classical poet Kalidasa, and 2006 Nobel Prize winner Mohammed Yunus, who is best known for assisting women in escaping poverty. In the world of sports, tennis player Sonia Mirza, cricketeers Mahindra Dhoni and Sanchin Tindelkar, and three Olympic gold medals winner Dhyan Chand can boast Indian roots. Representing India on YouTube are T-Series, Choo Choo TV Nursery Rhymes, ZTV, and Eros Now. Number 7. Wildlife of India a vast diversity of exotic and beautiful wildlife awaits those with a desire to explore. Asian elephants, Bengal tigers, sloth bears, Indian rhinoceros, Asian water buffalo, Indian wolf, golden jackal, and the Indian antelope are just a small sampling of the roaming beast inhabiting India's environment. The Indian region of western Assam is home to what is considered one of the rarest and most sacred monkeys in the world, the golden langur. This wild-haired primate is currently endangered, with only 1,064 individuals being recorded in 2001. In an effort to protect its precious wildlife, India's government created 18 biosphere reserves, 10 of which are recognized by the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. Number 6. India's Tourist Attractions Thinking of India, there's probably one location that comes to mind as a definite must-see spot, the Taj Mahal. Visiting the mausoleum is absolutely recommended, but it's not the only site this historic country has to offer. The caves and temples of Maharashtra, Golconda Fort in Andhra Pradesh, the Museum of Man in Bhubaneswar, Uttar Pradesh's Bagel Baba Temple, Mansingh Palace. There's so much to see in India, but these locations are a decent start. Gir National Park, Dahandar Falls, the Bimbekta Rock Shelters, Lady Hadari Park, Laitlam Canyons, and an array of beaches and lakes are more than ideal for nature lovers. The vast, diverse lands of India truly leave something for all to experience. Number 5. Bollywood Film enthusiasts may know a thing or two about Bollywood or Hindi cinema, but newcomers are in for a treat. India's own Hollywood has roots in the silent era of film, with its first silent feature being Raja Harishandra by Dada Sahib Palki. Early Bollywood films were meant as a means to escape, especially during World War II and the partition, and often include whimsical elements like large-scale musical numbers rooted in classic Indian folk dances. The songs often determine if a movie is going to succeed, and the better the musical soundtrack, the better the movie often performs. Since the early 2000s, Bollywood has seen an increased popularity across the globe. Number 4. Cricket and India Sports are often a country's pride and joy. Americans have baseball, Canadians have hockey, Brazilians have football, and Indians have cricket. If not for the British rule of India, otherwise known as the British Raj, 
the game of cricket may never have been introduced to the natives. Via the East India Company, cricket was integrated into 17th century Indian culture, eventually blossoming into a popular sport headlined by the Indian national cricket team or the men in blue. Competition in cricket within India comes in the form of several domestic events, including the Ranji Trophy, Syed Mushtaq Ali Trophy, and the BCCI Corporate Trophy. Of the national cricket team's crowning achievements, there's the 1983 and 2011 Cricket World Cups and the 2007 and 2013 ICC World 2020s. Number three, world records from India. A person who feels appreciated will always do more than what is expected. Or at least that's what World Records India tells us. This more localized version of the Guinness World Records lives by the mantra that rewarding people is the best way to get people to excel and so it dishes out awards for things that would likely otherwise go unnoticed. Things like the most baby booties designed by knitting material, the largest number of handmade greeting cards, the youngest individual to recite the countries in the lowest amount of time, the first blood donation camp at a marriage ceremony, and most consecutive years with 100% school attendance. They may not stand out like Guinness's incredible records, but India feels they're worth some praise. Number two, India Space Research Organization. In 1969, the ISRO came into the picture, replacing the then standing Indian National Committee for Space Research, five years after the launch of the very first sounding rocket. The shorter and catchy name brought with it advancements to the program, which allowed India to be a formidable competitor in the ongoing space race. On September 24, 2014, India became the first country to succeed in entering Mars's orbit on the first attempt, and also the first Asian space agency to ever reach the red planet's orbit. Chandrayaan-1, a lunar mission sent in October of 2008, made the ISRO the first to have detected water on the moon. The 2000s has seen increased activity and launches, with over 25 different launches taking place between 2010 and 2016 alone. Number one, Indian Independence Movement and Gandhi. India's movement for independence dates as far back as the 18th century, during the East India Company's rule of the country, and is littered with tales of death, desperation, rebellions, and a world war that stalled the movement briefly in favor of the bigger picture. In 1915, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi left South Africa, where he had acted as a civil rights activist, and returned to India to lead the nationalist movement for independence. Implementing peaceful rebellions and the non-cooperation movement, Gandhi was a thorn in the British side. On August 15, 1947, five months before Gandhi's assassination, India was declared a sovereign and democratic nation though a decision made in 1949 kept the country within the British Commonwealth. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to visit and sign up with our friends at Geek Fuel by using our affiliate link found in the description section. For just $20 a month, you'll receive at least $50 worth of geeky stuff that you'll actually use. Each box comes with a t-shirt you'll actually want to wear and a free Steam game download, usually valued at $10 or more. Don't miss out on this monthly box that Stan Lee himself endorses. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep updated on more lists like these, box openings, and giveaways. Oh, this video on India, I am liking it very much. Now, class, let us study about Indian cultures. India, so the way they greet the people there, namaste, which means hello in English. So, movies are the most popular form of entertainment in India. In fact, in one year, they make 800 movies. That's why India makes more movies than any other country in the world. Indian food. So Indian food is unique and it's a perfect blend of cultures. It is better known for its taste and spiciness. There are lots of different kinds of spices in India class, but I never tried eating Indian food. Well, I, I love one of uh, one of the foods which is called masaman. Okay. Next, Hinduism. About 80% of India's people are called Hindus because they follow the teachings of Hinduism. They consider the Ganges River a holy river.
Known as the land of a thousand smiles, Thailand is one of the most inviting countries in Southeast Asia. With its rich local culture and captivating sights, the Kingdom of Thailand tops many people's bucket lists as a dream destination. Whether you're in it to explore the rural, city, and coastal landscapes, or you want to try authentic Thai cuisine, you'd never run out of things to discover in Thailand. Here are 30 Thailand facts that will take you to the heart of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Thailand is the 50th largest country in the world. With 76 provinces, Thailand covers a land area of over 500,000 square kilometers, alongside waters of 2,230 square kilometers. This makes Thailand the 50th largest nation by land area. Number 2. Thailand shares boundaries with four countries. At the center of the Indochinese Peninsula, Thailand shares borders with Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia. Number 3. Thailand is divided into three main regions. The Land of a Thousand Smiles has three distinct regions that each showcase a different aspect of Thai culture. Number 4. Northern Thailand thrives on agriculture. Separated from the rest of Thailand by a large mountain range, Northern Thailand showcases a mostly rural landscape. Also known as Aisan, this region mainly has Lao-speaking citizens with lifestyles based on agriculture. Number 5. Southern Thailand relies more on fishing. A primarily coastal area, many of the country's perfect resorts and beaches can be found in southern Thailand. This region's tropical climate makes it an excellent home to numerous fishing communities. Number 6. Central Thailand has the biggest population. Aside from housing the capital of Bangkok, this region also serves as the center of economy, politics, and culture, alongside rice-producing fertile plains. This metropolitan region's population has the greatest density and most prominent Thai ethnicity. Number 7. Bangkok's Chatuchak Weekend Market is one of the biggest marketplaces in Asia. If you ever plan on going to Thailand, you can't miss Chatuchak. This marketplace probably has anything you can think of, which makes it great for buying souvenirs. Foodies can also try a bunch of local treats here, such as the well-loved coconut ice cream. Number 8. Bangkok holds the world record for the longest name for a place. Bangkok's full name spans a total of 21 words. Why it was eventually called Bangkok is still unconfirmed, but some theories suggest the Thai word for island village or being named after a certain plant. Number 9. Bangkok is the world's most visited city. With 22.78 million international visitors, Bangkok has been named the most visited city in the world four years in a row beating Paris, London, Dubai, and Singapore. Number 10. Most Thai breakfast foods are rice-based. Breakfasts in Thailand primarily feature jok, a dish similar to Chinese congee. The Thai would boil rice until it dissolves, forming a thick porridge. This dish is then served hot with an egg, minced pork, and thin slices of cilantro and ginger to top it off. Number 11. Thai dishes heavily feature rice. From breakfast to dessert, Thai cuisine easily proves why rice is a Thai staple. In fact, the Thai phrase for I'm hungry literally translates to I want to eat rice. Number 12. Thailand ranks second in the world's biggest rice exporters. Rice makes up a hefty amount of Thailand's exports, especially the trademark variety of jasmine rice. Aside from leading in exports, the average Thai consumes around 100 kilograms of rice each year. Number 13. You can eat scorpion at Khao San Road. Khao San Road offers many exotic street food options, which makes it the perfect place for backpackers seeking unique yet budget-friendly grub. Number 14. Thailand has Muay Thai as its national sport. While Europe has soccer and the US has football, Muay Thai holds the title as Thailand's beloved sport. However, Muay Thai matches also have a more sacred regard in the country. Number 15. Thailand used to be known as Siam. Coming from the Sanskrit word Siam, the Portuguese first named the country Siam in the 16th century. It was not until 1938 when dictator Luang Phibun Songkram, a vigorous nationalist and modernizer, declared Thailand as the country's new name. Number 16. 
Thai beer almost costs as much as water. Thai beer has a high level of alcohol content, which makes it efficient in killing germs. Surprisingly, the cost of local Thai beer is almost equivalent to the price of bottled water. Number 17. Red Bull was inspired by a Thai energy drink. In 1976, Chario Yovidhia launched Karating Deng, a Thai energy drink. It then inspired Austrian Dietrich Mateschitz to formulate a similar recipe to satiate the Western taste buds in the form of Red Bull. Number 18. Around 95% of the country's population practices Buddhism. Thailand is also known as the land of Buddhism. While total results vary on a yearly basis, Thailand closely follows Cambodia and China with the biggest population of Buddhists. Number 19. Thailand is home to nearly 35,000 temples nationwide. Throughout the country, you can find tens of thousands of Buddhist temples or wat. Visits to these sacred places require guests to wear modern attire, which means no shorts and sleeveless tops. Number 20. A three-wheeled open-air vehicle called tuk-tuk serves as the country's traditional mode of transportation. Especially prominent in Bangkok, this vehicle got its name from the noise made by its two cycle engines. Number 21. The Y is the traditional Thai greeting. People greet each other in Thailand through the Y, where each person puts their hands together, lifting them up to their faces while lowering their heads into a dainty bow. The hand raising part symbolizes the status of the other person, which suggests that a higher lift means a more polite gesture. When greeting the elderly, you should raise your hands up to your nose bridge, while greeting your peers would only require your hands at chest level. Number 22. The traditional Thai greeting has female and male variations. Thai greetings generally start with the word sawadi. Females would follow it with ka, while males would use kap. Number 23. Thailand frowns upon tattoos below the waist. If you want to get a traditional Thai tattoo, the general rule of thumb is that the farther it goes from the head, the more taboo it is. Any designs depicting Buddha is also a big no-no. Number 24. In Thailand, it's respectful to leave leftovers. Contrary to what you might be used to, leaving a small bite on your plate is a sign of courtesy in Thailand. This means that you found the food delicious and states that you are satisfied. Meanwhile, leaving your plate clean would mean that you are not yet satisfied. Number 25. Thai dishes only serve bite-sized pieces of meat. Since the country is primarily Buddhist, it usually prohibits the cooking and serving of animals in a whole state. As a result, most meat in traditional Thai dishes come sliced or prepared in pieces. Number 26. When entering a Thai household, you should never step on the threshold. The Thais strongly believe that a spirit lives in their home's entrance. This means that stepping on it would disrespect their beliefs and upset some spirits. Number 27. Thai buildings often have spirit or fee houses outside. The Thai use these structures to present gifts and offerings to spirits, so they won't bother those within the vicinity. Number 28. Traditional Thai households also look down on sitting with your legs stretched out. Since most Thai homes would have guests sitting on the floor, it's advised that women tuck their legs to their sides, while men sit with crossed legs. Sitting haphazardly would make you come off as rude. Number 29. The Thai law has some strange provisions. Going commando in Thailand could get you apprehended, as Thai law prohibits leaving the house without underwear. Similarly, it prohibits driving without a shirt on. Number 30. The infamous term Siamese twins originated from Thailand. In 1811, the earliest documented case of conjoined twins came with the birth of Chang and Eng Bunker, as they were born joined at the chest. While their birthplace served as the inspiration for the term, it has since been succeeded by the more favored term, conjoined twins. Like other places in the world, Thailand's complex culture proves that there's a lot more to it than the things you usually associate it with. Despite how similar or how different your culture may be, a little understanding could go a long way and help you appreciate how other people live. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos. The last topic that we have is Thai culture. 
So, Thailand. In Thailand, the way you greet people, sawadi, or means like uh, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. So, you can use this greeting any time of the day. A lot of Thai cultures relate to rice. In Thailand, rice is a core essence of people's life. It is mentioned with respect in Thai folk songs and also in Thai art and craft. Every year, the king presides over the country's royal plunging ceremony, and this ceremony is a prosperous ceremony because it encourages all the farmers to continue farming. Why? Okay, this is the way you greet people. So why in Thai culture is not just a gesture to say hello, but it is also a sign of respect which demonstrate much about Thai values and attitudes. So you can do this one even if uh, the person is younger than you are and even if the person is um, older than you are. And of course, uh, the highest person in, in this country, which is the king and even the prime minister. So class, just to summarize the topic that we have. So first one is India. India is also known as the country of unity in diversity so it has 29 states and six union territories and in india because they are one of the most populated uh, countries in the world they speak 18 official languages but they also speak english okay because they were being colonized by great britain so 114 languages 216 mother tongue and 900 dialects in india because it's a huge a big country so hindi is the national language and english is commonly used for national political commercial and educational purposes so it is the seventh largest country and the second most populous country in the world which has 1.8 billion people so one out of five people in the world is india next is thailand so Thailand is located in the center of the Indochina Peninsula in Southeast Asia. Its climate is warm, humid, and rainy during May to October and cool and dry from November to March. Thai food usually is served with rice, okay? Uh, Thai people also like spicy food. In sports, kite flying is a competitive sport in Thailand. Tak Takrao is another favorite sport where players try to keep the ball in the air using their feet, knees, and chest to pass the ball to one another to try to make a basket. But I think Thai people also like to play football. Okay, So animals, Thailand is home to exotic animals such as tigers, leopards, elephants, black bears, and more than 850 species of birds okay because we have different kind of rainforest in thailand as well so the religion in thailand is of course buddhism among many other things they believe in karma and reincarnation so these are the two topics that uh, we have discussed today but i'm going to discuss it to you again on friday because i i'm sure that only very few students are going to watch this video today okay so class for your activity, it's of course live worksheet. So this is how your activity looks like. So the link will be posted in Google Classroom. So the deadline for this will be on Friday afternoon until 5 p.m. Because I, I am not, uh, I'm not going to meet you in Google Meet today. That's why we have this video, okay? So you have to answer this one, province of Thailand. So you have choices in here. You just drag the word to the correct number. Okay, click finish, click check my answers, screenshot your scores, and upload in social studies album in your class line group. Good luck, everyone! So class, it's the end of our lesson. If you have any question or anything that you would want to uh, say or ask to me, you can call me in my line account or you can send me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you on Friday. Goodbye!